What's up guys, Kizzo's here, and today, I think this is day 9 of Coast and Trimless, and we're here at Indiana Beach. This is like 6 days after they reopened, so this place oh, it looks so fun. Looks to be a great day here. Right here is Steel Hog, their main steel coaster. This is an SNS El Loco coaster. But that, of course, way beyond 90 degree drop. This place looks really fun. Those two woodies look fantastic. Hoosier Hurricane and Cornball Express. And of course, the other coasters here. So this place looks to be really fun. Tomorrow, after going to Kings Island, so excited that for Before we go to Kings Island, we're gonna stop here. So this place is really nice. Five coasters, excited to get all the credits. Well, that was pretty boring for I just wore a tiger up and back over here. All the coasters are closed except Tiger for right now due to the maintenance. Hopefully they'll open soon, but Tiger, that was pretty bland. <laughs> Nothing really special about it at all. It's a clone, so what do you expect? But go over here. I mean, all the coasters over here closed, but we'll have to wait for them to open, which is just really sucks. Yeah, so we're on top of the Ferris wheel. Uh, this park is really nice looking. There's two coasters out there, Cornball, and the main one, he's a hurricane. Of course, they're going now. But looks like Steel Hog's running. It's really disappointing because there's only one coaster operating. It looks like Steel Hog's about to run. And it's already like almost two hours into their open thing. So it's really sucks, but we'll have to ride them. This is like a pretty cool, it's cheap, I know, but like a walkthrough. Castle looks pretty cool. So they have trying to seem like Spirit Halloween, if you know that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I may mean, not do it, it's like seven bucks for a walkthrough, but it's like 50 minutes, so it looks kind of cool. I just got off of Who's a Hurricane. Oh, it's definitely not really good at all. It's pretty boring, actually. I have no air time at all. Actually, we're in the front. Hopefully, it would be better than the back. I'll ride it later. Pretty bumpy. Even on the reach rock, it was bumpy, which is really odd. But pretty boring. The air time is not the best at all. I'm expecting Cornball to be better because of those insane drops you can see right there. So so now I'm going to go ride Steel Hog. The thing looks to be pretty fun. Here I am about to ride Steel Hog. So, yeah, I just got off this thing. <laughs> uh, it's, it's fine, really. Um, debating which one's better, who's your hurricane or this one. They're both not really that good. They're fine. Pretty boring. I mean, it's pretty bumpy. It has those over the shoulder strings like things. It's like the big apple coaster. It has like a really steep, I think, steep drop. It's definitely not the best. It's not like steel coaster here. It used to be the steepest coaster in America, but it's definitely not as good as people could say. We're about to get. The world's best tacos, let's go. Why not give Hoosier Hurricane another go and try to ride in the back seat? But I just heard the Cornball Express is probably gonna be opening in 30 minutes. So let's go! Best park, best coaster here. Super excited. Looks like it's an insane airtime in the back. Now this is cool. Look at that. It's like a whole pool. Right here, it's like a beach. You have a water size, it's a waste, like a lazy river right here. Oh yes! Here's Cornball. I see it, let's go. That was my first reaction, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that, but let's go. Here goes Cornball. I'll be riding that. It's also a drop tower, so I'll be riding that too. Well, here I am. Uh, there's Hoosier Hurricane, all the rest of the rides are down there and over here. Um, you know, I saw Cornball running, but they're still working on it, of course. About an hour ago, he said, 30 minutes, it'll be open. It's been an hour, of course it's not open. Oh, I'll have to wait a little bit longer because you know, there's nothing else to do. It's in the water. But it looks pretty nice. So here is um, here's a hurricane right here. So there's shots of after right here. And then over there is a tiger, and then back there is a steel hog. Well, here it is. I haven't done a test run yet. They haven't opened it yet, whatever. They're working on it in the break run station. This is, this is the one thing I want to ride. My goodness, come on. If I miss out on this and she was to mountain, we're leaving like, oh, like 35 minutes. If I miss out on both, I would have only got three out of five credits. And I'm not gonna come back here for a long time. I really want to ride this. Come on, Cornball. Come on. So apparently, looking for like a short circuit in there, and they can't. They can't find it. So we're we'll leaving 15 minutes. So this, I'm not riding this trip. This so sucks. It's at the top of Indiana, the middle of nowhere, and I'll be riding it. The only good coaster, not even good. This is a road where a Cornball, not Cornball, Hoosier Hurricane, Steel Hog, and tiger no cornball well we come over here and it's opening it's open so it's gonna ride this it's four out of five credits the only one i'll miss is that one we should still close trunk over there which of course 95 percent sure it will but this thing looks pretty fun all right so i got off of lost coaster superstition mountain that thing was so weird the trains were really cool i guess but super wacky and weird ride i found four out of five credits now we're leaving now, but that was really fun and really weird. It's a really 
which is really wacky. I, I would understand why it's a beloved attraction. But other than that, all of all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos and vlogs coming across the rails. And make sure to subscribe and see ya.